And now we cross to our special guest for today on the Sports Hour show, debutant last night for the Richmond Tigers in the AFL. And uh, yeah, he certainly killed it and played a lovely game. And we welcome Thompson Dow to the Sports Hour show on Brimbank Live. How you going, Thompson? I'm good, thanks, mate. How are you? Very well. And uh, it's a pleasure to have you on. How did you feel after last night's game? Oh, I was over the moon. I think even still now, I'm, I'm still buzzing a bit after the win. Because um, obviously it was a... We knew it was going to be a big game going into it against West Coast, who are a quality side also. Um, so, yeah, I was, I was a bit nervous about that. Um, but um, to get the win and, and to win by 20 or 25-odd points, yeah, it was just awesome. And, and the Gatorade share at the end was it, 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 as, as gross as it, as it was afterwards with all the sticky stickiness of it. But, um, oh, it was so surreal and I loved it. And were there any eye openers for you uh, in that game? I'm sure there were some. What What were some of the biggest eye openers for you compared to any other football you've played in the past? Oh, I think the most the the biggest one would be the the people you play on. Like I guess as soon as I come onto the field, I was lining up on blokes like Tim Kelly and and Shuey. And um, yeah, like you always watch them on TV. So to to be out in the field playing against them is yeah, you sort of can't believe it, but as the game goes on, you, just, you settle in and, and you get used to it. But yeah, initially, that's that's what probably surprised me the most. And you had a great game, you, 12 touches and, uh, you know, you got around a fair bit and uh, yeah, you, you, you got got the win in the end. Uh, did you feel comfortable? Uh, how long did it take you to sort of get your feet and feel really comfortable in the game? Um, I think the first quarter was a bit, I feel like it, it, I was sort of all over the shop. Um, in my head because obviously it takes a bit to settle in, especially because it was my first game. But um, yeah, it, it, it takes, it, when, you, when you're out there, you sort of forget um, what sort of a game it is, as weird as that might sound. And I guess having less um, supporters at the game probably um, changes that also because it, it doesn't um, seem like a normal AFL game because, well, it isn't because of COVID. But um, yeah, you adjust pretty quickly and, and I felt like I settled in as the game went on and, and got more calm and, um, yeah, found my way. And what was the, uh, the build-up to the game like? You, it wasn't, you know, your usual build-up. It was an AFL debut. So how, how was that? Oh, it was, it was amazing. I think it's, it's, there's no better feeling than when um, all your friends, family and, and all the people that have helped you get to where you are today um, – get around you and show you all the support. Um, so, yeah, leading up to the game, it was there was a lot of outside noise going on, I guess, and a lot of it, well, all of it positive. But, um, yeah, I, I always knew it was, it was a matter of flicking the switch to um, and not getting caught up in all the um, external stuff. So, yeah, as after the jumper presentation, it was almost like that was when I flicked the switch and, and went from went to game mode and, I think that's when that's when a lot of the nerves um, went away, and I, I found I was I was nervous leading up to the whole. From, from when I woke up um, Thursday morning, I started to feel the nerves, and then after the jumper presentation, I felt pretty good after that. And and well, having David Asprey present it was also an honour, and yeah, so it was pretty special. Yeah, and can you tell me, did your brother Paddy Dow, who plays at Carlton, did he? Uh, provide you with any advice and tips going into the game? Um, no, oh, not, not, not so much tips, but he did um, send his love and he said um, he's pretty happy for me. So uh, he obviously wasn't able to go to the game because of um, COVID, but he was there um, behind the TV as all my family were. But um, yeah, he was, he was pretty rough for me. And how about Caleb Sarong, your, uh, your, your teammate at school last year in school footy? Did he, did he give you a bit of extra confidence seeing how well he's gone this year? Um, and did, did you speak to him before the game? I did speak to him before the game. And um, obviously he said, sent his support towards me. But um, it was funny, we have we verse Freeman all next week and he goes, and I said to him as a bit of a joke, um, I was hoping I'll debut next week against you. And he goes, well, as long as you play well and I play well, we'll, we'll, we'll line up against each other. So um, <laughs> hopefully um, it pans out that way and I get to verse him next week because obviously 
having him as a teammate last year and, and a very close mate, um, it'd, be, it'd be amazing to be able to verse each other. Um, hopefully we don't get in a fight or anything, but um, yeah, it'd be awesome. Well, um, certainly, I, I think uh, that's a big chance of happening this week. Playing, you're, you're playing Fremantle, and uh, yeah, if you both get picked, which I'm sure will happen, uh, you'll be playing against each other. Now, any any strategy going into next week? How how are you going to play with against him? You, you played with him at school, um, and somehow he's just he's killed it this year at AFL level in his first year. Yeah, what what uh, any strategies or any early thoughts you've got? Um, well, obviously. First of all, I got to get selected, and hopefully that does happen. But Caleb, he, he's a he's a great player, and the the one thing about him is he's so consistent. Um, as we've seen so far, like he's I think he's averaging twenty odd disposals. But more importantly, that those twenty disposals are always so efficient, and and he's so damaging with the ball. So um, and, and alongside him with Mundy and Fife and, and a lot of other stars on their side. So. Yeah, that'll be a quality side, and and to come up against them, it'll be it'll be a, it'll be a bit of a fight. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can get the win, whether I'm playing or not. Yeah, and we saw throughout the week. Unfortunately, Dylan Grimes he was uh, receiving some uh, you know, pretty uh, nasty comments uh, through social media uh, at the club. Do they sort of advise you guys and teach you guys on how to respond to? To, to these comments, which unfortunately happen uh, in, in, at social media and um, through, through the accounts. Do you, get, do you get provided advice and guidance um, every season about it? Um, well, obviously, I only just arrived this season, so I can only speak from um, what I've seen so far. But, yeah, as soon as, I, as soon as we arrive at the club, we, everyone gets a bit of media training um, and also advice surrounding all the, all the social media nonsense that can go about because it's just as sad as it is it's just a part of um uh, that um afl and and all other top tier sports um there's always um external noise which which you've just got to block out and but obviously in dylan grimes instance it was it, it was just yeah over the top and and he's taken a stance which is i guess a bit of a wake-up call in the whole industry or in the whole sports industry um because yeah, it's it's it shouldn't be accepted. I think it's great that he's um, taken a stance because I think this, he'll bring a lot of other players with him, um, and he'll have a lot of support behind him, which has already been shown. So um, yeah, it's disappointing, but it's um, it, it does happen. And we saw Richmond reached a hundred thousand members um, throughout the week, which is pretty exceptional. And it's not the first time they've done it; they've done it for the past couple of seasons. How do you want Richmond supporters to, to know you uh, at, by the end of the season, by the end of your career, hopefully after a Brownlow and 300 games? <laughs> how, how, how do you want to see yourself uh, as a footballer at Richmond? Oh, look, I think I just want everyone... I, I always go out there and try and give my, um, the best I can. And I think that's what everyone should try and do because, um, I mean, if you leave nothing out there, then you'll have no regrets. And I think that's all I want to do as long as if I can get through my AFL career with no regrets um, and know that I've put every ounce of my energy into it, then I'll be satisfied. And whether that means I've played one game or 300 games, if I've um, given it my all, I'll be pretty happy. So yeah, I, I guess I hope the Richmond supporters can know that um, I'll, I'll give everything I've got and um, see where that takes me. And going back to last night's game, what was that like? playing against and with superstars, Dustin Martin, Tim Kelly, um, big guys like Jack Darling, Josh Kennedy, Jeremy McGovern, your own Tom Lynch, uh, Jack Reaver. What, what, what was it like to play with them and, and against them? And, and was it a big difference you felt compared to playing the scratch matches and school footy last year? What, what, what was that like for you? Um, I think in terms of teammates like Jack Ray Walton and Grimes and Dustin, having all those senior blokes um, run alongside you, especially in your debut is, is, is so important. And all of them really took me under their wing and, and um, made my first game. So, so um, made me feel so comfortable out there because um, yeah, they really let you know that they've got your back and um, they, they, yeah, they give you your full, their full support and, um, but yeah, and, and, and with opponents, um, 
definitely compared to school footy, the, the one thing I noticed was like, bigger bodies out there. Obviously, um, they've de- developed their bodies over time, and um, it's it's not um, it's not as it's not as quick. Sorry, it is. It's a lot quicker than school footy, and, and it's definitely noticeable out there because. Um, yeah, it's, it was zinging around, especially last night, and, and, the, and the pressure's so high. So um, it, it takes a bit to adjust to that, definitely. It's a remarkable um, how you've gone from school footy last year, playing against little boys, uh, to, to playing against the, the big men um, in the big league. So it's a remarkable achievement, and uh, congratulations on that. Uh, are there any last, any last words you, you would like to say uh, on the game? Or anything? <laughs> oh, oh, the floor look, is open. Yeah, look, I, I just want to, like, without all the support from all the fans and, and all my family and friends, um, I wouldn't have been able to get through it. So yeah, look, it's awesome to have all that support, and um, it made my first game so enjoyable. So yeah. And I'll ask you one last question: How's the hub been? Yeah, it's been. I'm actually really enjoying it. It's. Uh, it took a bit to get used to. Um. And uh, just like, so I went to boarding school and, and one thing I figured is once you get into a routine, um, you, you, you get a lot more comfortable and, and things start to flow. So I felt like that's helped me get into a routine here in the hub. And, and so now that I've found that routine, um, I feel like yeah, everything's just um, been awesome. And, and I've, I've, it's given me, uh, it's been a great opportunity to get to know all the boys much better as well, which is great for me in my first year. So um, yeah, I've developed some stronger relationships and yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Well, Thompson, it's a pleasure to have you on the Sports Hour and uh, a big thank you for you for coming on and all the very best uh, for the next few games and uh, the rest of your career. Uh, great start last night and congratulations once again. Thanks, mate. Thanks for having me on the show. No worries. Thanks, Thompson. And that was Thompson Dow uh, from the Richmond Football Club, number 27. Uh, He had a fabulous game last night in his debut match against the West Coast Eagles, and he's got a long future ahead. Uh, So we thank him for coming on the Sports Hour show.